Welcome to Magic Gathering Strap. My name is Ted, and this is Project Rixus version 12. I'm waiting on my opponent. Hmm. I'm wondering... I just tried playing a game just before this, and something screwy happened. So I'm not sure if uh, MTGO is having an issue. But we'll see. I got a response. Okay, there we go. Huh. I don't particularly like this hand. Um, let's mulligan. Oh, we got him on the game. And I'll keep this. It's fine. Um, I think I can bottom that. I kept that first hand. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's see. I think I'll lead out with a mountain. And pass the turn. I think I have no chance of winning this game. At least not before sideboarding. So I'm at this game. Yeah. Okay, that's fine ish. Tokens don't really help me against Island Walk. to get a swamp but okay I guess I'll be getting a look for it He would block.
I think I have to fork bolt this dude. I sure do want to save this for Master of Waves, but I don't think I have that luxury. gonna do this but I just wanted to think that I would I think my best option is to play the Delver and then cut his Mutavolt Or should I cut the Lord? Well, I'm going to play the Delver. And 
Or should I attack in? If I attack in, go block one. Enemy. I think if I do get kill the Lord, I should do it on his attack phase. I think this works out as well. I win the match. Okay, well, that was kind of weak. Um, I mean, you're just so favored in this matchup. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll, I'll see if I can bring another game. Maybe, I don't know if this game will make it to the thing, but um, we'll see. All right, bye. Oh, and uh, please hit the like button if you <laughs> like this video. But um, I think, I, you know, I'm glad I figured that out, how to, how to work that. But um, So if you like the video, please hit the like button. It helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay guys, so you just saw that um, bonus video of um, the Merfolk match where I won game one but my opponent quit. Um, and that's kind of how you have to handle Merfolk um, when you don't have uh, something like uh, um, Engineer Explosives to, um, to help you along. Um, even that's not a, a super great uh, situation, but um, it really helps when you have something like a, a murderous cut um, to handle uh, to handle um, something like Master of Waves, and and you have um, access to uh, your removal and and snapcasters to to uh, to get that back, and then it's just you know a matter of. Um, getting in a creature and, and you're just, you know, attacking, you know, and attacking, attacking, attacking. So, um, it, it's to the point, I think, though, where I think Merfolk is such a serious deck that maybe, um, two murderous cuts, um, or, uh, possibly some sort of, uh, edicts, uh, spell. That edicts aren't very good because, um, they can always flash with the uh, Aether Vial. They can flash in uh, a creature or something if they have it. And But, um, you know. Or something like um, the Flip Jace, I guess. Or um, the Jace set that um, nerfs their, uh, their attacking creatures. Um, can give you a little bit of time. But, anyway. So, um... Just to wrap up this week, um, did pretty well, I think. Um, I had trouble recording games uh, before I actually recorded. Um, I, and during the beginning of the week, I tried to uh, play a few practice games, and everything was going great. The deck was running smoothly. Um, I was winning games, um, winning matches. Um, I mean, you know, a loss here and there, but um, 
everything seemed to be working very well. I mean, you know, as as well as is to be expected. And then, of course, I, I, as soon as I start recording, everybody is um, doesn't want to play. <laughs> so, um, as I said, uh, next week we'll probably have a, a, some more, uh, some bigger changes um, to the deck. Um, still would like to get the Scalding Tarns and um, another uh, fetch, at least one other fetch. And, and that's a, a thing that I've been debating whether... Um, it's calling turns over 30 bucks, I think, right now. If it was down to 25, I'd be a different story. But I think I, I have to work on the sideboard and, and, and hope that uh, they get reprinted and it brings the price down. Because right now, um, it's either get another uh, Bloodstained Mire and uh, go down to 18 lands, maybe, um, which would be nice. But um, or work on the sideboard. I think working on the sideboard is going to make a bigger effect right now. So that's it for today, this week, and I'll be back w next week with uh, version 13. I'll see you then, and uh, please hit the like button. It helps the channel, um, and um, you know, channel brings a lot of great videos, not just mine. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back next week. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at Magic Gath Strat, Facebook slash Magic Gathering Strat, or on the web, magicgatheringstrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize-supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and cardhoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash magicgatheringstrat.